I'm going to have a look at the incident template. As you can see, as a system administrator, I have no access to templates because this is an application setting and I need to log in with the privileged user account. So you can see here we still log in as master or as in your case as the demo user. No access, so log out with this account and then log in with your privileged account. In my case, the orchestrator, provide the password, log in. Next comes our application admin console, as you can see here. Custom configuration and on the incident management side, you select the template and we're going to create a new template. In my case, I created already a template, but you can see that the Calvo company has the same support groups as my custom company. And I created an incident template that I'm going to use for the TrueSight integration. Let's review that, this template really quickly. The template name is very important. Save this information because when we are going to use Atrium Orchestrator, we reference this template name and we are going to pre-fill as much information as possible. The reported source will be Impact Manager event and the incident type infrastructure event. Here we have the categorization for the incident itself, the product categorization and the operational categorization. It is important to note that you should leave the automatic relationship of customer CIs empty because we are going to use assignment rules to handle that properly. And in Remedy 8.1, there are some enhancements to make sure that this is working out of the box. In 7.6, I was told there are some configuration settings that you have to verify. Um, I'm using here an 8.1 environment, so the enhancements in the back end are already applied. On the assignments rule, I leave all these fields empty because we have assignments set up already beforehand. So my template will leave that empty and the assignment rules will take care of the routing of that incident or the change. This is going to be managed by the Lumberjack IT Services organization. If you enter additional companies, they can modify that template. And of course, you need to make sure that the template is enabled. Basically, that's all what we need to configure on the remedy side for the use of templates 